What's up guys, welcome back to Chanel, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be showing the i8 some love, and we're also gonna be also uh, showing the 7 Series some love. We finally figured out the issue with the 7 Series, with the airbag light and everything. So we'll go take care of that, but before we actually do that, check out these packages we got right here. This is all you guys' orders, it's fully stacked up. We got more in the trunk, just wanna take all these in and uh, just get these shipped out to you guys. We're on a mission. You guys absolutely killed the drop. I'm pretty sure we have literally less than like five platelets and less than five mats left. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. It's honestly helping out the M4 build so much and I'm happy we're able to get these out for you guys right now. So guys, we just got all the packages out. I don't know if you guys saw the little the little bag as well. You guys absolutely killed the drop. I'm telling you guys, I even just got an order right now for the plates. We are almost out of plates. And I thank you guys so much for the constant support. At this point, let's get the IA down and show it some love. It really needs to get cleaned up. I haven't washed this car in literally forever. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a good wash and then go back and give the 7 Series some more love. So we actually got some more parts in today um, that's gonna help the 7 Series at least clear, hopefully the airbag light. That's the biggest goal. So the major lights on the dash is a check engine, which we're trying to figure out, which hopefully we'll knock out in this video. The airbag light, which is another major light if we can knock out both those lights today in today's video i think we're golden right like that'd be sick they're pretty good yeah and then obviously at the transmission but i mean we'll, we'll do it is what it is it is what it is so uh see you guys when we get to the car wash by the way guys before we actually get into the video um and any more about just washing the car and stuff like that i noticed guys in the last video you guys are commenting saying nor why are you talking so watching your videos or why are you vlogging you know we want to see more building less of you talking I'm, my channel is about me vlogging and enjoying and working on my cars I'm not a rebuilding channel to the point to where I just flip cars and work on cars all day every day no I like to go wash my cars just you know talk about life enjoy my life that's what this channel is about and if you guys are not liking that type of stuff I mean it's up to you guys but if you guys want strictly rebuilding channels there's a thousand other channels on YouTube that's strictly rebuilding way more dedicated rebuild content but if you guys want to see also some vlogs, you know, like it, it, it's kind of a mixture on my channel. And that's what I kind of enjoy to watch myself. So that's the kind of content I'm going to put out. So I hope you guys like these kind of videos. If those of you guys who don't like these kind of videos, you know, it, it's up to you. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Watch whatever you want to watch when you eat your Chipotle bowl. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's go ahead and give uh, this little dirty piece of bologna a, a car wash. <laughs> Here at Chipotle with my brother. Let's go to car, all right? It's on you actually, right? Yeah, it's on me. Shout out to you, my G. Let's get some Chipotle and then uh, start working on the 7 Series. Package acquired. <laughs> Guys, the interior is smelling a lot better. You don't actually smell the smoker smell. So that's pretty good. Looking at the dash, guys, we do have a check engine light, which we're gonna hopefully try to figure out today and diagnose. We have that airbag light, and uh, we have a TPMS. Uh, the parking light, I think if you just release the brake, yeah, that will go away, and then the seatbelt, um, if I put on the seatbelt, that should go away. Yeah, so our goal today is to literally get rid of all lights on this side, which is the check engine light, and then hopefully get rid of that light as well. And then the only light will be the TPMS, which would be perfect. Obviously, we have a million other lights over here. Ah, oh, this is so cool. It's such a cheap mod, but at the same time, makes the interior look so much better. Like, look at that. Oh my God, this center console is really coming together. And of course, this isn't gonna be uh, done anytime soon. Alrighty, so we got the car up in the garage, um, put it in park. Obviously, it won't go in park. What a piece of baloney. Go ahead and put up the e-brake. So something that I noticed when we ran the check engine light code um, is saying our temperature sensor is bad. As you guys can see, it's saying it's a negative 40 Fahrenheit. That is completely false, obviously, or I would be I wouldn't even want to talk about it right now. So we need to figure out how to fix that and that should fix our check engine light. And then this airbag light is because of the clock spring. Because as you guys can see, horn is not working. None of these buttons are working for the modes or anything. So this all is connected to the clock spring. So uh, let's go ahead and try to replace the clock spring. We got a package from Nick, my boy, my coding friend, and uh, he got me this complete clock spring. This actually came off of his F10. I think he ended up upgrading his to some other features. This is exactly the way mine's is, uh, which is perfect OEM piece. So let's go ahead and try to install this. Hopefully everything should just line up perfectly, and uh, hopefully no coding is necessary, but it might need coding as well. He also sent out this guy because believe it or not, for a 7 Series, you still got 
gotta pay for Bluetooth. My car does not have Bluetooth, or if it does, it must be broken. So we have a new Bluetooth module. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go inside and swap this out as well. Hopefully we get Bluetooth in this car. As stupid as it might sound, this is really important. I mean, for a BMW, a luxury one, and on top of that, we do want Bluetooth. So uh, shout out to Nick for sending me these two. <laughs> Honestly, very blessed to have him as a friend. He's always hooking it up. And then we also got a package here, not from one of you guys. One of you guys sent me out both headlights, but I ended up ordering this before one of you guys sent it. So uh, I heard there's a defect with this one. Let's just go ahead and just unbox it, see what's going on with it. And uh, if there is a defect, we're gonna hopefully try to fix it. If the defect's unfixable, I might just end up returning it because I do have two other ones coming in the way and there's no need to keep finicking with this one. So coming around to the trunk, the first thing we gotta do, <laughs> oh, we got our two headlights here. This is a good headlight, bad headlight. We gotta disconnect the battery. We don't want the airbags or anything going off when we actually connect the clock spring. So let's go ahead and get everything out of here and uh, disconnect the battery. After about 10 years of finicking with this, now I'm kidding, about 30 minutes, but still, very long time. Now we just gotta go ahead and disconnect these two wires, so uh, bada bing, bada bang. Since we're replacing the clock spring, we might as well just disconnect everything. Let's remove the wheel real quick, and I think it'll be easier to disconnect everything once we actually get it out. So here is the old one and it looks so grimy and disgusting and here is our new one I'm literally just so much happier just the way this looks It's gonna be so satisfying just putting better looking parts inside of this car so Let's go ahead and install this and uh, hopefully everything should start working Hopefully our airbag light will go away after we clear the lights if we hear the horn working That's a huge sign because you guys can clearly see we're not getting any horn movements on that one So if we get any horn movements on this that is very good Guys, so we just finally got everything back together. Let's go ahead and pop in the airbag because we do have to test out the horn. Oh man, I really do not want to pop this in because it was super hard to pop out, but it is what it is. Okay, now that everything is reconnected, we do have the steering wheel locked in there. Uh, the clock spring, everything should be reconnected now. Um, so yeah, at this point guys, let's go ahead and reconnect the battery and hope to God at least we hear a horn. Because if we hear a horn, clear the lights, we should be in business. All right, guys, moment of truth, please. Oh, no. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Oh! <laughs> yes. Guys, we finally got the horn working, which is perfect. Let's see if the mode buttons work now. <laughs> Check that out, guys. So we finally got the FM button to work, which is perfect, which means everything else should pretty much work. Yep, everything's looking pretty good. The horn is working, that's a huge plus. It was definitely the clock spring. Um, let me go ahead and see if uh, we can figure out what's going on with the temperature sensor. I'll go ahead and clear all the lights in the end, but let's figure out what's going on with that temperature sensor and uh, hopefully get that fixed as well. So first thing, out with the old. This thing I cannot believe was causing all of our issues. Garbage, absolute garbage. All right, let's figure out what's going on here in the engine bay now. So, oh, this is looking so much better. I gotta re-put this stuff, but I mean, I'm gonna have to remove it again to actually get to the headlight. But yes, guys, we're having an issue with this cable right here. I don't know if it's the cable. I don't know if it's the sensor. Uh, the other day, last night, I plugged this in just for the heck of it, just to see if this will fix the problem, but it didn't fix the problem. I still had the negative 40 fare and height and then I noticed this wire was sticking out down here so then I connected the wire and still negative 40 Fahrenheit don't know why I'm gonna go ahead and keep trying to finick with this and try to look at the harness maybe somewhere we have a splice I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, try to diagnose this real quick <laughs> All right, guys, so after playing with this for a little bit, um, I, I, I just don't know what's wrong with it. I mean, it, it could be so many things. Let me show you guys what's currently going on with the cables and the sensor itself. If you guys just look at it, first things first, look at how easy this one comes out. And it's just a bunch of like copper wires, like the connector's not even coming with it. And this one, the connector just comes out. It shouldn't be coming out that easy. That's the first issue. And then uh, second thing, obviously, that this is just, I don't know what's going on here. Let me go ahead and just maybe swap them out maybe. 
We're just honestly gonna forget about that right now. Let's just go ahead and test out that headlight that we just got and see what's going on with that. Alrighty guys, <laughs> this headlight according to the eBay ad uh, has a defective adaptive headlight. I don't know if that's the actual module or the headlight itself. So let's go ahead and just unbox it and uh, see if it's possibly the module or the actual headlight looks defected itself. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the headlight we just ordered from eBay, and uh, look at that lens. I don't know how that happened, but it uh, looks like somebody may have dropped this when they took it out of the car, and the adaptive module itself just looks completely broken. Let's go out and hook it up to the car and just see what happens exactly. Yeah, guys, this is, I don't know what happened to this headlight, but someone must have dropped it. Let's see if we can go ahead and try to straighten that out, or if not, clearly broke this. That's such a shame. This is the only complete headlight on eBay that I found for under $300. And uh, it's actually physically broken from the inside. I didn't have any broken tabs or anything. I don't know how this could have happened. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below, guys. I'm probably just going to end up returning this headlight. This is no, I'm not going to try to tamper with it because as soon as I start messing with it, I won't be able to get my money back because I opened it. So I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to do anything. Let's just go ahead and send it back so uh, I get my money back on this headlight. On the plus side, guys, it looks like the car is holding oil. Um, if you go over here, it says left low being left uh, front. Uh, the fog light is the only thing on the right that's malfunctioning everything else is left 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 so it looks like once we get both headlights plugged in it's actually going to clear all the codes which is good which means the car uh the wiring harnesses and everything are good it just means that the headlights obviously are missing and defected earlier let's go in and plug in the other headlight that we have in the trunk and see how many more errors will actually go away i have no idea but this is like a gazillion Look at that, guys. Uh, this actually has white LED bulbs, and this one has the yellow one. I wonder what pair we're going to get. One of you guys sent me out a pair. I'm wondering what kind of bulbs it has. I really hope it has the white ones. This also looks really hazy, and uh, I don't know if it's dirty from the inside or the outside, but uh, yeah, this one definitely is going to need to get cleaned up. But I'm going to sell it as is because uh, it looks like it's a perfectly working headlight, just missing modules. This one would have been perfect if that bulb wasn't just all... The adaptive is actually broken on that one. Coming around to the interior, we do have uh, the same amount of lights. Let's go ahead and turn off the car real quick. Check control. Okay, we do have less lights now, which is great. I cannot wait for the two new headlights to come in. I am so excited. Once those headlights come in, the same guy is actually sending me out the bumper as well. I did have to pay shipping on the bumper and the headlights, but that is a steal of a deal. I think I paid like less than $300 for a bumper and both headlights. The bumper is not paint matched, but we're gonna go ahead and paint it and blend it off to that fender because that fender is messed up as well. And uh, I'm just really, really, really happy we got those for such a good deal. Shout out to one of you guys. It says the headlights will be here this Friday. I'm hoping it'll be here uh, before then, but uh, We'll hope for the best. In the meantime, let's go ahead and just repackage that headlight, put the other headlight back in the trunk, order this sensor. So this sensor actually comes with the harness and everything. We need the complete thing, and it says it'll get here by tomorrow. So uh, if you order within the next two hours, let's go ahead and place an order real quick. I just placed the order. It says it's arriving tomorrow. Fingers crossed, as soon as we get that, we'll install it, and hopefully it'll fix our temperature sensor issue. And that will also fix our check engine light issue. So that is a two-in-one combo deal right there. That's a, that's a good combo meal. So yeah, let's go ahead and repackage the headlight, throw that one in the trunk, come back inside and see if we can get rid of that airbag light. I went ahead and started a return on this headlight. Thankfully, they automatically accepted with a free shipping label, so that is good to go. We didn't lose any money there. I cannot wait for the two new headlights and the bumper to go on. And oh my god, this build, I absolutely love it. I don't know why. But anywho, guys, we have uh, the module. So this is the Bluetooth module. Let's go ahead and try to figure out where this goes. I mean, the, on every other BMW, it's right underneath the carpet in the trunk, but uh, it's not there. So uh, let's, let's try to figure out where this thing goes. All right, guys, so actually, it looks like this car might already have a comm box. I'm pretty sure this is the amplifier. I don't really know what this is, but it has an antenna cable connected to it. Um, maybe this is the original um, comm box, and we just need to upgrade it. I'm not really too sure what's going on here. Let me do a little bit of research real quick. You're special and you're reckless. 
And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything all right, guys, so uh, this is the older, um, pretty much Bluetooth system that goes in this car. This is the same one that you get off an E90, which is so stupid. Um, and yeah, this one doesn't even have Bluetooth music. It just has Bluetooth calling. Um, if you guys check out the port, the one on the bottom is the new one. That's the com box. This is the top. So we are going to have to do a little bit of retrofitting. As for this side, everything plugs in the way it's supposed to, I think. Wait, nope, never mind. This connector looks a little bit different. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, guys. All right, guys, so with the com box, we did get these little things from Nick as well. So we do have to repin a bunch of wires here. Uh, I've never done anything like this. I think I did a long time ago with the 335, but uh, it, it's not my uh, my skill group. So let's go ahead and see if we can pin this properly and hopefully put it into the com box. Everything is green over here. Oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about. No I got your back all the way. And everything is all right. I like how you doing all right, all right. Like how you think all right. Always on top of you. So now we are back in the car. We installed the module, the, the, the what's it called? The comm box. <laughs> and uh, basically, we're trying to get Bluetooth before a new transmission. You got to do what you got to do. You got to enjoy your music and your piece of garbage car that's not going to go anywhere. If it's going to sit in one spot for now, might as well enjoy some music. So uh, hopefully we've got the Bluetooth situation working in a little bit. We're going to go ahead and code it in. Uh, my boy Nick's going to help me with that. And we're also going to go ahead and clear the lights. And hopefully our airbag light should go away um, after replacing the, the clock spring. So... Uh, let's go ahead do some coding. Um, I'm just gonna look at Nick do it and then Hopefully that light should go away and actually let's just see if we actually go right now to media. Is there Bluetooth? Um, bada bing bada bang. Nope, there's not Bluetooth So we might need to actually code that in but hopefully guys we should be seeing a Bluetooth feature here pretty soon <laughs> All right guys, so coming into the inside of the car a few hours later it's super dark now We have no longer a TPMS light So we got that situated and no more airbag light. We got that situated which is absolutely perfect Our last thing is just our check engine and that's because of our temperature sensor as you guys can see it says negative 40 that's not supposed to be like that we got a new harness a new sensor coming on the way and then hopefully they should have no more lights because look once i release the e-brake we have nothing there um we just have a bunch of headlight issues and a bunch of other little codes just a tip guys for your service required remember the other time i tried clearing the codes or resetting the brakes and they wouldn't reset if you have your parking brake up one of you guys told me in the comments below so shout out to you guys if you have the parking brake up it won't reset the brake pad so make sure your parking brake is off and then you can go ahead and reset it so everything is good here and if we go to our check control we have no more major issues everything else here should get fixed once we get the headlights in the fog lights in <laughs> So that is looking pretty awesome if you ask me guys and this interior is really coming together I see you guys tomorrow morning as soon as we get that new sensor because I really want to also get the pretty much a clean dash uh, In today's video, so I'll check back with you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys we got Bluetooth boys Woo! Is your body, your body, your body, your body, your body What's up guys? This is day two. So uh, we finally got the sensor came in overnight shipping Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, replace the sensor and that will fix the trick or we're gonna have to replace the whole harness So you guys saw that we were getting the negative 40 Fahrenheit in the car and that's with the sensor plugged in So we're gonna go ahead and unplug this one and uh, just go ahead and try to plug in the new one and see Will anything change or is something to do with our wiring might have gone bad? I have no idea here is our new sensor plug that little bad boy in it's plugged in Let's go ahead and check inside the car and see if our temperature is still the same. Still says negative 40. Will that adjust? Let's give it a second. I have low hopes that it's just the sensor. I have a high, yeah, it says outside temperature negative 40. Um, I think it is the harness. Let's go ahead and replace the harness while we're at it and uh, just test fit it. So we just quickly rigged up the new wiring harness to the new sensor. Let's see if that makes a difference. I have no idea, but I'm um, hoping for the best here. 
Okay. That is a new sensor and a new harness, so uh, come on, come on. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. Maybe it'll adjust in a little bit. Let's give it some time real quick. All right, guys, so I cleared the lights. The check engine light did go away, but it's gonna come right back because it still says negative 40. I'm still clearing the lights. It looks like there's something else wrong with the car. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more research. I'm really trying to chase after the negative 40. I've heard this is actually a famous issue and it's a big issue, so hopefully we can figure out what that is exactly because that's gonna continue to shoot a check engine light and we won't be able to pass smog with that check engine light. Something that looks so small could be a little bit bigger than we thought or it could be just a torn wire somewhere else. So we just gotta probably just follow the wires and see if they're fully connected or they're just torn somewhere. All right guys, it's saying I have, basically if you have negative 40, that means the loop isn't complete. So we're gonna keep trying to figure this out. I, I, I genuinely don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna try to see where these wires lead. Maybe there's a cut somewhere else down here from a previous accident. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying to look at this and just see where these wires go. And I'll get back to y'all in a little bit. As I see you in the future with me, I wanna meet you. Friend, I'm family. Guys. <laughs> So what I just realized is, this is so confusing. These two wires that connect to this temperature sensor is going over here and it's going to the other temperature sensor. It literally doesn't connect to the car whatsoever. It took me a minute to figure it out. That doesn't make any sense. Basically that temperature sensor right down there, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's one down here connected by the two wires. I follow those wires, they go through here. Once I've torn off the entire harness, well not the harness, but you know, like all the, 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 the shielding and stuff, the wires come up right here, they loop back around and they come to this. This doesn't even connect to the car whatsoever. How does this connect to the car? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> um. Okay, well that's clearly our problem here. Let's try to figure out how this connects to the car. <laughs> Guys, I'm actually dying. I'm dying. Whoever that owned this car is just, I don't even know what to say. Basically, he, this one, no wonder it was, it was so weird. This thing was put together so weird. It was so new. You guys can even tell it's like new. And uh, I didn't understand why. It didn't even match the other connector back there. So he actually wired this in um, and basically went temperature sensor to temperature sensor. It's not even connected to the car. Again, wire to wire. Temperature sensor to temperature sensor. So, that being said, we have now two extra air temperature sensors. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and keep this as a spare. Always we're gonna need an air temperature sensor eventually, but um, this is super weird. I actually don't know how the wiring harness works on this car, so I'm gonna hit up my boy Nick and see if I can get a wiring diagram for the car. Honestly, what would I do without Nick? Shout out to Nick for always helping the boy. I'm actually gonna do some research and try to see where the harness actually goes uh, and where the air, the temp the temperature, the temper air temperature sensor is supposed to be um, wired up to the car and actually going directly into the cluster. Um, so this isn't going to anything, which is just the weirdest thing in the world to be honest. So <laughs> the previous owner really, really messed that up. So anywho, we're gonna go ahead and just call it a day and for this point, I really wanted to clear the check engine light as well, but this looks like it's gonna take a heavy amount of uh, you know research and stuff like that. Hopefully in the next video, we should have both headlights. We should also have the airbag light cleared. I mean, the, the check engine light cleared away and maybe even the bumper on the car. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. We're just waiting on the parts and everything should get here actually tomorrow. So we should be able to fully assemble this car and then we can figure out what each harness is actually meant for. Without further ado guys, cop some merch if you have it to support you, man. I've been uploading every three days instead of every other day because something kind of big is happening again in my private life and I cannot wait to tell you guys. I just can't tell you right now, but I cannot wait to tell you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna have to upload every three days um, and that's also because of school starting up. As soon, like give me a month. As soon as a month passes by, we'll be back to our old schedule. We'll be pretty much destroying both builds again, modifying the heck out of the M4. But without further ado, as of right now, I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.